Oh, I'm in Friendster. They routed me through Friendster. Um, it broke itself. What? Well, you see, the army blocked YouTube, so I was trying to get it through a proxy, but they routed me through Friendster. So you blew it up? Man, you know I have a temper issue. So how are we supposed to get our orders? We're sitting out here in the stinking desert and you just blew up our only line of communication. Look, dude, I'm sorry, but, I mean, what do you think we should do? Well, what do you think our orders would have been? I don't know, I was gonna look them up on YouTube. You and your damn internet, have you even read any books lately? Actually, I have. I just finished reading The Prince by Niccolò Machiavelli. Well, how interesting, because I just finished reading The Republic by Plato. Well, there's your first problem. Plato, kind of a pansy. Machiavelli, pretty much a badass. Enemy Jeep. I'll take this one. You know, that wasn't really nice. Plato would have not done that. Oh, really? Well, then what would Plato have done? Well, first of all, Plato would not be involved in this war because he's more concerned for the welfare of his own country. However, if this war was forced upon him, the first thing he would do is make sure that the youth of the Republic get to witness it firsthand. Now, why would he do something like that? So that in the future the Republic would avoid other wars. Plato says that in this way they will get an excellent view of what is hereafter to be their own business. So you propose we just let the terrorists walk all over us? Machiavelli said, Men love at their own will and fear at the will of the prince. A wise prince must build his foundation on what is his own and not what belongs to others. Enemy infantry. I got him. What is he doing? Who cares? Just shoot him. We got a runner. Well, this would really be a riveting conversation if we weren't in the military and our opinions didn't matter for anything. Yeah, you think after five years someone else would figure this out.